But no one is happier about the growth of pro soccer in the Twin Cities than Chris Lidholm. That's right. The Cooper High School alum is now a broadcaster for the Minnesota United. As Eric Nelson found out, Lidholm has been around the Minnesota soccer scene for more than two decades. There'd be just hundreds of fans, and now we've got 9,000 in here regularly, and so it's all packed. And Chris Lidholm has that. soccer in his DNA. You know, I've always enjoyed doing these games. His father discovered that when he was growing up in Robbinsdale. Every time they'd give me a ball, I'd put it down and kick it. I wouldn't throw it. And he thought, hey, soccer's got to be in this guy's future. Now Minnesota coming on the attack. As a youngster, Lidholm got his kicks watching the old Minnesota kicks at Met Stadium. And we're going to have a goal kick. We went to every game except two from 1976 to 1981. Lidholm parlayed that soccer passion into a career. I love doing what I do. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I have to do, be doing it this long. So Welcome back to the National Sports Center, everyone. Chris Lidholm. He has been the voice of pro soccer in the Twin Cities Cruz cuts it to his left. since 1993. So 24 years under my belt. And is currently Minnesota. United's play-by-play -play broadcaster. It's pretty cool to to hear him. Um, he's put his own twist into the goals and uh, I think he has a little special effect for every player. Come and get it. Lidholm's signature Come is energy and excitability. I love that interaction with the fans. Cruz trying to catch Mauer off his line. As he describes the action. Everyone's paying attention to what you're saying. Um, they're criticizing you. Um, probably more than us on the field, to be honest. Um, you're trying to keep in tune uh, the whole fan base that's watching and entertain them, and I think he does a really good job of that. Justin Davis quickly up the left. Earlier this season, Christian Ramirez, Ramirez. scored a dramatic game-winning goal against New York in the 90th minute. Christian Ramirez! It was the first time Min Yu had ever beaten the Cosmos, and Lidholm captured the magic moment. He caught it. Um, he's got his own extending of my last name that he, <laughs> he says. Back in his youth, Lidholm cheered for kick star Alan Willie. Now, Willie is his broadcast sidekick. Watching Alan as a player, seeing him out there scoring many goals in a Hall of Fame career, and now the opportunity to stand alongside of him. Chris began his broadcasting career back in 1990. Some guy by the name of John Jacobson gave him his first chance. He did, he did. While watching an Armstrong Cooper game, They'll be starting in less than an hour. Lidholm saw Jacobson doing a broadcast for Northwest Community Television. And I just spur the moment decided to walk up and offer my color commentary experience, which was zero at the time. John gave me a chance and that was kind of the start. With the MLS coming soon to the Twin Cities and a new soccer specific stadium on the horizon. They're awesome. They're awesome. Lidholm believes that Minnesota's soccer arrow is pointing up. I think it's great. I think it's going to bring that top level or what's considered the top level in North America to Minnesota, to a state and to a fan base that is fantastic when it comes to supporting soccer. In Blaine, I'm Eric Nelson, Channel 12 News. Lidholm spent 20 years as a college referee and was also a top goalkeeper when he played for the state select team. So home, hometown boy makes good. Started right here. I love it. John must have seen something. That's exactly yep. right. <laughs> <laughs>